in today's episode of HowToWrench.com, we are going to have a factory tour of M2 shocks from the one and only suspension legend, uh, Marcus McBain. I just got done uh, taking his drag racing and suspension seminar school. This thing is fantastic. If you are looking to do drag racing in particular, this specific class was fantastic for chassis setup. But like a lot of things, and Marcus was real accommodating myself as more into the the road racing and track day side of it to you know talk about that crossover and he's a his own legend and his experience there in the road racing community as well so this uh class also comes with just a ton of uh handout information that you can uh take home and study as well definitely not a class that was remove part a remove part b install part b install part a this was set up this was how to this was videos and lectures and material and hands-on it was it was way cool so i i know the uh the other students that took the class with me we all uh, super enjoyed it so special thanks out to marcus for uh you know taking and doing something no one else is doing and that is uh, providing that training so specific to the the drag racing industry like that take a second and watch this quick little video of marcus giving a tour of his shop and stay tuned to part two to see that uh shock dyno in action from any shock come from poor manufacturing. And we actually have some of our parts vendors, they're actually willing to do some of the manufacturing for us and we said absolutely not. Because putting this all together, using the right, uh, a different kind of lubricant or grease, just on the adjuster for instance, we use a heavy duty, can't wash it away with water, grease for the clicker on the bottom. If you ever notice when you adjust it, it's really smooth and easy. The key is, is that we use, when we put it together, if you use the right grease here and the right lubricant and the, and the right Loctite, you know, and the right amount, everything will work better. It will be more durable over the long haul. So a lot of the stuff we do is to make sure it's going to be right, but we pick the parts and we have all our inventory of pictures <laughs> like that. So it's kind of cool, but every piece, you know, it literally comes as pieces. This is actually our reservoir. It starts off as just a tube. And then we'll put about 90 or about 80 parts together on that. Wow. Yeah, and then we'll turn that into the reservoir. Same thing all the way through. I mean, pistons, body tubes, everything. It all gets put together. And Marcus, I know for us guys here that are taking your class today, you already explained how custom this is, but they fill out a sheet basically with all the mm -hmm. specs. So your options here are just endless to match. Yeah, we can do different body tubes, different lengths, anything you need at all, basically. At that point, we're going to take it over over in this area over here. And we're going to see the dyno machine here today? Yep. Oh, absolutely. Sweet. We'll, we'll do a dyno a little bit. Uh, each station has different vices, but we basically have pre-assembly uh, stations where, uh, you know, our components are the reservoir is one piece, the base is one, then we build up the shaft and then this body tube. This old relic here, believe it or not, this is serial number 001. Oh, wow. And, then, and if you look at the name. Um, Got some history going on right that's there, Ricky huh? That's Ricky Gadsden's Real Street Shock that he ran 770 on the first time we went out. Wow. Oh, yeah, awesome. so Rick, I asked Ricky to give Can't us. touch it? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Well, I asked Rick, some of them vibes, right? I asked Ricky, hey, I want, I'm going to keep that at the shop. We're going to put it up on the wall. Yeah. You know, museum piece. Yeah, it's it, that's our first shock we ever produced, though. So, it's if it ran 770 in Real Street, that's not bad at all. Really? Yeah, but we're gonna have a lot of tools. Like, you know, it, even when we're doing a service, I mean, you see, you're gonna see the slate over here. We can actually check the height of a piston. This we roll roll out forks. This is our uh, rollout bar. But over here, if we think something doesn't look right, we'll actually deck the uh, the pistons that we use for the shocks. So we can make sure the dish is right on this stuff, you know. Sweet. And it looks like so much of your stuff is custom. Like you've it made is. everything to make this happen the way you uh, you see fit. Yeah, everything's made for a purpose. It, it's it's made to have a small work area because, you know, we can't afford a $5,000 a month facility starting off. So everything's made so that we can have maximum efficiency in the small small space. Mm -hmm. But some of the things we do just to, as automation to make sure the customer gets the best service. Check this out. <laughs> I love it. It's so simple. So simple. But uh, once we actually assembled the shock, and obviously we wouldn't have spring, you're going to see like an Olin, Olin's uh, oil fill machine. This will automatically bleed the shock without anybody having to touch any oil. Oh. Yeah. Cool. 
uh, we'll set the nitrogen pressure. Then once that's all together, then we can dyno it. What about this, bud? I saw this, Marcus. Yeah. Is this we could lay a fork sideways and do some more? No, or actually, what are you doing? give you an idea. Let me grab a shock real quick. Got one over here. What we normally do is when we're bleeding these, see it's all rubber mounted here? Mm -hmm. We'll just stick this in here so this stays upright so all the air, this is the highest point in air. And see this has a little piece. We normally will put this fitting in here. We'll turn this machine on. Mm -hmm. And what it'll do is to create a vacuum first and then it will fill it full, full of oil. So like, duh, simple. Yeah. <laughs> Smart. But that way this thing can't get cockeyed and right. having this at the highest point makes sure all the air gets out. That's all. Fantastic. Hey guys, you know what I talk about this all the time in my videos, but look at the organization here. Everything laid out. It's fantastic. Hey, I'm going to check out of this video. We'll come back here in a little bit. Okay. All right.